Our next contestant, Don Grant. Next Friday. <coughs> next Friday, please welcome Don Grant. Mr. Condi's chair, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know there are two words that strike morbid fear in the hearts of men the world over? Now I know some of you blokes out there will be thinking, what could be worse than mother-in-law, retail therapy, or prostate examination? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, internet dating. <laughs> I'm a widower, I'm 49, and I decided recently it's time I started dating again. My friend Trevor told me to try the website find someone. Trevor would know he's an expert. He's been on it for five years. <laughs> I typed in man seeking woman and found 1,066 women and four men who want to be women. <laughs> I felt like a kid in a lolly shop. Blondes, brunettes, redheads. Tall, short, wide, thin, glasses, braces, tattoos, piercings. And that was just the first ten. <laughs> Trevor said what I needed was an awesome name for my profile to get the ladies' attention. His profile name was Gary Glitter. <laughs> no wonder he hasn't found a girlfriend yet. <laughs> I decided my name would be 49 Shades of Grey. <laughs> I posted my profile, sat back and waited. On the first day, I had 26 likes. The next day, 58. And by the third day, 110 desperate women <coughs> were wanting my magnificent body. <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> Only 22 women had photos. And not all those photos were faces. <laughs> Lights can be a shallow bunch. We like to see what we're getting. Think of it this way, ladies. Can you imagine opening your eyes in the morning and staring straight at Kim.com? <laughs> Well, you blokes waking up and rolling over and stretching out your arm to Helen Clark. <laughs> Trevor said I had to treat this more like when men go shopping for a TV. <coughs> Check out all the models, select the flashiest one you can afford, and make sure you try it before you buy it. <laughs> that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> I finally plucked up the courage and started chatting with three women. Joan Jett, Mary Poppins, and Joan of Arc. <laughs> they all had favourite things they liked. And the music, Joan Jett said, I love rock and roll. <laughs> Mary Poppins' favourite food was a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> and under intimacy, Joan of Arc said, must be able to set me on fire. <laughs> on Joan Jett and agreed to meet her at a cafe. I arrived early and right on two o'clock she walked in. Straight black hair, tight jeans, white t-shirt, leather jacket. She strutted towards me and I stood up to greet her. Joan Jett? Who? Hey, I'm Bonnie, the barista. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have gone to speak savers. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later, Joan Jett arrived. I knew it was her when she flipped the coin at me. Put another dime in the jeep box, baby! She sat down and got straight to the point. How many have you had? I beg your pardon. How many internet dates have you had? You're the first. Ah, oh, they all say that. Do you like sex? I wasn't going to tell her I couldn't remember. <laughs> Bonnie and the waitresses were snickering. 
And Joan Jett, she went living alone. She went on and find someone for six months. And they even tried phone sex. That had me wondering. <laughs> what do you do with the phone? <laughs> Well, Joe, it's been nice meeting you, but I've got another date at 3.30. Have you luck? Mine's not till 4 o'clock. <laughs> You've got another date today. Yeah, sounds ever so hopeful. He wants to meet me in Noel Leeming. I think he must be a rock star. He calls himself... <laughs> At least, I've got something to look forward to next Friday. I'm going for my prostate examination. <laughs>